Hi, I'm Tijun, and I'll be talking about centralized model and expression policy for multi-agent RL. This is work done at the University of Toronto and the Vector Institute with Chris, Animesh, and Jacob. Many real-world problems can be modeled by fully cooperative, partially observable multi-agent RL. For example, a team of robots trying to achieve a common goal, but each robot only observes its own surroundings. The fully cooperative, partially observable multi-agent RL problem is formalized by DECPOM DP. S describes the central state of the environment. At each time step, each agent draws individual observations O from the observation function. Each agent then chooses an action A, forming a joint action. This causes a transition in the environment according to the state transition function. All agents share the same reward function. Most methods for learning in DECPOM DPs use the Centralized Training for Decentralized Execution Framework, also known as CTDE. CTDE assumes training is done in simulators, where we have access to privileged information such as the central state and joint action. And testing is done in the real world, so agents only have access to its own action observation history at test time. A problem with current DECPOM DP learning methods is they require too many samples from the environment. We can see why this is through a comparison with a single agent RL setting. In single agent RL, the problem is formalized by MDP. The goal is to find a policy that maps states to actions which results in a policy search space that is only polynomial in the number of states and actions. But on the other hand, the goal for DECPOM DPs is to find decentralized policies that each map individual action observation history to individual actions. Because the policy of one agent in a DECPOM DP affects the observations of the other agents, agents need to explore over policies rather than actions. This results in the joint policy search space of doubly exponential instead of just poly polynomial. To find the optimal policy, we need an exhaustive search over all possible policies. Thus, current state-of-the-art methods, which are mostly model-free, suffer from sample inefficiency due to the large policy search space. This limits their applicability in real-world problems and other settings where interactions with the environment are costly. To address the problem of sample inefficiency, we propose MARCO, a model-based approach for DECPOM DPs. The key insight is that learning policies directly from the environment requires doubly exponential samples. But by leveraging CTDE, we can learn centralized models of the environment within just a polynomial number of samples in terms of the number of states and joint actions. Marco alternates between model learning, policy optimization, and learning an exploration policy for data collection. During model learning, Marco learns a model of the environment using supervised learning from a data set. We learn an ensemble of models of the dynamics, observation, and reward function. The models are centralized, meaning we condition on privileged information, namely the central state and joint actions. We can do this as a part of the CTDE framework, as the model is used only during training and not during test time. As an example here, we show the centralized observation model learned by Marco. The Marco observation model outputs the joint observation conditioning on the central state and previous joint actions. Notice that the Markov model is Markovian because it conditions on the central state. This is as opposed to learning a non-Markovian centralized model that instead conditions on the joint observation from previous time step. In addition, the Markov model is also stationary since environment dynamics are assumed to be stationary in the DECPOM DP. This is as opposed to learning a decentralized model that outputs agents' individual observation conditioning on the individual action observation history. 
The decentralized model is not stationary because it depends on the policy of other agents. So whenever the policies are updated during training, the decentralized model needs to be relearned as well, which is not optimal. With the learned models, we can then do policy optimization using a model-free moral algorithm of choice, such as QMix, VDN, or independent Q-learning, but not limited to those. The policy optimization step is done within the learned models, so no additional environment interactions is needed. To further improve sample complexity, Marco learns separate exploration policies to collect data in state action space with high model uncertainty. This model uncertainty is quantified as the variance over the ensemble of models we learn and is used as an exploration bonus for the exploration policies. The exploration policies are also centralized by conditioning on the central state. This allows the exploration policy to more quickly return to the frontier of state action space with high model uncertainty, which can further improve sample complex complexity. The exploration policy are also optimized within the learned models, so no additional environment interaction is needed. In this work, we also show some theoretical results. We adapt RMAX, a model-based method for tabular MDPs to tabular DECPOMDPs with centralized model learning. We provide theoretical results and show that this adapted RMAX algorithm achieves polynomial sample complexity as opposed to doubly exponential. We empirically evaluate Marco in three communication tasks. We chose communication tasks because they are most suitable to demonstrate the complexity of DECPOMDPs as the policy of other agents would directly affect the observation function of an agent, which results in a larger policy search space. The first task is the switch riddle with bridge, which contains two phases. During the bridge crossing phase, agents choose to either go left, right, do nothing, or terminate episode. The agents will only move on to the game playing phase when all agents end up in the right side of the bridge. During the game playing phase, each day, an agent is sent into a room containing a light bulb with a toggle switch. The agent will be able to observe the current state of the light bulb. If he wishes, he can toggle the light bulb. He also has the option of announcing that he believes all agents have visited the room at some point in time. If this announcement is true, agents win and loses otherwise. The ne next task is the simple reference game from the multi-agent particle environment. In this task, there are three distinct landmarks and two agents. Each agent wants to get to their target landmark, which is known only by other agent. Reward is collective, so agents have to, have to learn to communicate the goal of the other agents and navigate to their landmark. We empirically evaluate Marco on the switch riddle without bridge, switch riddle with bridge, and the multi-agent particle environment. We compare Marco with the best performing model-free baseline from QMix, VDN, and independent Q-learning. For each experiment, the algorithm chosen for Markle's policy optimization step is the same as the model-free baseline it is compared to. Here, we see the empirical results in the switch riddle without bridge task. In the first row, we observed that Markle achieves the same performance as the model-free baseline. However, if we look at the number of real environment samples consumed, row 2 and 3 show that Markle is more sample efficient by order of magnitude. We can see that similar result is achieved for the other two communication tasks as well. As one of the appellations, we looked at the effect of centralized exploration policy. We see that with a centralized exploration policy, Marco is able to cover much more state action space than without having an exploration policy. To summarize, we present Marco, a model-based approach for DECPOMDPs. 
Marco learns centralized models, which enables polynomial sample complexity. To further improve sample complexity, Marco also learns a centralized expiration policy to collect data in state action space with high model uncertainty. We show that empirically, Marco can improve sample efficiency by up to 20 times on three communication tasks. Finally, we also show theoretical results that an adapted RMAX algorithm with centralized model learning can achieve polynomial sample complexity in the tabular DECPOM DP setting. Thank you for listening.